Ugh. Okay, so I look crazy, but I just wanted to tape a quick update. I'm going for my microblading appointment. It's been December, January, February, March, April, at least four months, maybe a little bit longer since I got my eyebrows done. Honestly, there's no makeup on my eyebrows right now. They held up so well that I felt like I kept putting off my touch-up appointment because I felt like I didn't need it yet. But I'm finally going to go do the touch-up, so I'm just going to take you guys with me since so many of you are interested in what the process was like and what it was like four months later and how long it would last. So I'll give you a quick close-up and then we'll go get the touch-up. Disregard the fact that my eye makeup looks crazy. It was a long night. Okay, so what are we doing now, Angela? I'm just adding the numbing. So you don't feel it again? <laughs> right. Which I didn't last time. That's what yeah. so many people ask me is just like how much it hurt. Mm -hmm. It just feels like weird. <laughs> There's no pain. You just hear it more than mm -hmm. anything. You guys remember this part, right? And then this sits here for about how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay, okay so what are we doing for my touch-up today? So basically since her brows retain really well, which is surprising because it's been four months or over four months. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is we have her numbing right now. I'm going to wipe down the numbing and then we're just going to go in with the pencil and individually draw on the strokes that we're going to add and then go straight from there. Like go for it. <laughs> so whisper it over here, right? Mm -hmm. Did the outline mm -hmm. and then I'm like, okay, so it's the negative space kind of picture it. Yeah. Well, I found that it's really hard for people to picture it. <laughs> so now I've been just drawing on the strokes, like individually. Like as you will, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that people, it kind of eases their mind, like, oh, okay. They can see that instead of just mm -hmm. having to assume what the negative space is going to look like. Yeah. Like the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just very subtle. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's, like, perfect. Because the existing strokes have already settled in and you can tell, you know, they're, they've expanded a little bit, mm -hmm. the new ones that we've added are going to look extremely fine and okay. look barely there until they settle in as well. And they'll, oh, got and it. And they'll blend seamlessly with the existing strokes. Okay. So we added the strokes up top, but mm. like I said, they're very fine. So I'm adding more that. numbing right now. Okay. The strokes healed so well. Yay. And still very hair-like, you know? Uh, yeah, I know. <clears throat> yeah, it didn't like bleed into mm -hmm. like something Blur else. Blur together, yeah. yeah. So that's the goal. I feel like uh, the biggest misconception is that microblading is going to replace makeup, mm -hmm. which it's not. If you're looking for a shaded look, right? that's not what we're going to achieve with this. It's more hair yeah, I just love having some sort of structure to start right. with. Okay, so what are you doing now? Just applying the final pigment mask. This is going to sit on the brows for like 5 to 10 minutes. So each stroke just really saturates. But um, it was a very light touch-up because... <laughs> because you did such an awesome yeah. job. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Shaping up the brows now. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Touch up is complete. Little done. Love it. Okay, so for taking care of this, the same as the first go around, just like yes. the aquaphor? Yeah, so 24 hours close procedure. Mm -hmm. Don't touch them at all. And then you do want to wash them once a day very lightly. Kind of like Splash, swipe, yeah. and pat dry. Okay. That's it. And this is just a sealant. That this is what you don't want to touch. Okay. So I should leave this on here alone for like 24 mm -hmm. hours at least. Yeah. Okay. And then now that this touch-up is over, how long hypothetically would I be good to go until my next one? I would say we suggest a touch-up maybe like every 18 months just okay. to keep the color really vibrant. Yeah. But otherwise, it depends on your skin. <laughs> how well it retains 
Which it and did for though, four so, months yeah. and that being that vibrant with no touch up. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I wanted to see you for a while. Oh, what's <laughs> that? <laughs> Which is good. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. And that's it guys. I just got my touch up. I love it. I'm super excited now that I can keep not doing my eyebrows forever. I still love a bold brow, so I fill them in with makeup. But I will say this is really good for just being able to wake up in the mornings and go or feel like I can lay out by the pool and not have to put on makeup or do my brows. So good stuff. Thank you, Angelie. You're the best. And thank you guys so much for all of the um, awesome reception. Hold on. Okay, we're back. And thank you guys so much for the awesome response. The microblading video is like one of the most popular videos on my channel. Um, so I'm really glad that you guys are responding to it. Glad that especially like us, we women of color have another video to look at and see like how great the results can be. So hopefully this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Leave a comment below. Leave a question. Have you tried it? Maybe, did you see my first video and try it and like it? What were your results like? Leave a thumbs up if you like videos like this, if you want me to keep taking you on my experiences with me, because I like taking you guys. Um, and then that's it. Thank you, Angelie. Beautiful job, as always. Um, so, shout out to her and Upright Beauty. And, yeah, now I'm going to go conquer the day with my new brows. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.